right, welcome to this week's episode of Love Summit. And where are we heading off to? We are headed to Auburn University. Yes, we have tickets to the Auburn Arkansas game. It's Rich's first ever SEC game. Right, and I love my time at the Citadel, but you know, Citadel football and SEC football are two totally different experiences. Absolutely. We're going to do something different with this. We're going to actually, hopefully, boondock and tailgate at the same time, right? Yeah, so the Auburn University, like many universities, has RV parking on the campus, campus area. area. Yep. And so we're going to be doing that. When we drove down here, we saw James Madison University had um, a football game. Their stadium is right on I-81, and mm -hmm. there was just RVs everywhere. It was really very interesting. It made us think of what we're going to experience, but we have no idea what this is going to be like. We don't know if there's going to be signs or what. We sort of know where we're headed. What the field looks like. Right. But um, uh, we don't know what the etiquette is or anything like that, so we're just going to have an adventure. Wing it. But yeah, so let's uh, join us as we boondock, tailgate, and get some SEC football game with the Airstream. It should be exciting. All right. That's how you RV SEC style. Let's have an adventure. We're about half a mile from where we're supposed to be quote unquote boondocking and I've yet to see one RV so we're going to see how this turns out. See the RVs? Yeah. I think we found the right spot. So Rich is going to reposition us. The etiquette here is there's a little road marked out in chalk and you just sort of find your spot. The trick is though is a lot of people are saving spots for friends and stuff so you just sort of have to ask and make sure you're not parking in someone's saved spot. So Rich is just going to turn us around. But they look like they have plenty of room at about 2.30. And we're just going to try to find a levelish spot and we can unhitch as well. And we'll have a way to come in and come out. Alright. We're going to see if we can level up. We're just going to adjust a little bit. And... Pull up so someone could potentially park behind us when they have a small rig. So we're here at our boondocking field. Dinner is getting up from the grill. But here's a good tip. When we arrived, I hooked up my solar. We were pulling only about two and a half amps because it was pretty cloudy. And I pulled up my Victron and I'm like, wait a minute, we're losing one amp. That's we usually draw about 0.63 when we're just running, you know, statically with the fridge and stuff. I'm like, something's not right. And we went around and looked at all the lights and everything and found out that the inverter was running. The button had accidentally been pressed by some movement of some stuff in the compartment. So the inverter was on. That was drawing the amps. Once we turned the inverter off, bingo, now we go down and we're actually adding amps to the battery. So a good tip when you're boondocking, go ahead and make sure that everything, just take a run around. Initially, just check and make sure everything is doing well. Yeah, culprits are like closet lights stuff like that that you might not see just take a quick run around make sure everything's off and then you'll be happy waking up with a full battery so normally I just run with one propane tank and then when this one runs out I'll switch that's one of the things that I can do but when for mission critical items like for when we're using the fridge I turn both propane tanks on so that we don't run out like the middle of the night of propane and, and then things. the fridge light goes out. Right. That so would, that would be bad. When you're on boondocking, make sure both your propane tanks are always on, even if you normally just do one. I think this is the biggest neighbor we've ever had. Look at that. Monster vehicle. Tow vehicle. With the fifth wheel. Pulling a golf cart trailer. Massive tow vehicle. I bet that thing could pull a 19 foot Bambi. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Although it did make my solar, I had to shoot. I had to shoot the gap right there for a while. Very convenient for our boondocking. It's a hot charcoal disposal bin, and Rich is going to dump his. That's very convenient. I like that. Kind of meant for tailgating. Plus, they've got the outhouses for those that are tailgating. If, if they're just using their cars. Right. So I think overall it's pretty well set up. So when you come in, they've painted lines on the grass. Right, so look at how nice this is. You just kind of come in. There's no one setting you up. So there's no one pointing to where you go. You just kind of go in on the lines here, find a place to park. 
pull so, in. So we're the, in the smaller lot here. We're in the uh, South Donahue lot. The um, Hayfield lot's a little bit bigger. So we're getting ready to leave for our game. It's at 11 a.m. and it's been really fun this morning just watching all the police escorts, correct? Yes, they've been bringing buses which we consider to be back and forth with some of the teams and stuff like that. And some maybe the coaches and all that. So. Yep, we're decked out in our gear, mm -hmm. ready to head on down. Right. Let's do it to it. Let's do it. Okay, CD. I know. These are seats? These are our seats. So we have Cinnabons. We have <laughs> Each Auburn home game starts with an eagle being released from the upper decks and it circles the stadium and lands in the middle of the field. This was easily one of the things I wanted to see most as the flight of the war eagle is one of the most iconic spectacles in all of sport. Okay, I need to take a quick break and explain the super crappy flyover shots. Actually, the flyover was awesome. They had a CH-47 Chinook, two UH-60 Blackhawks, and one AH-64 Apache attack helicopter. And because they were Army helicopters, they were able to come in so much lower than a typical Air Force flyover, and it was awesome. However, when our nation's anthem is played, I maintain a strict position of attention and will not move until the last note is played. Thankfully, on this day, patriotism won out over YouTube impulsiveness. Are you bringing back some memories? Yeah, absolutely. We used to be in the student section over there. So what do you think of your first SEC game? Yeah, so this is awesome. It's, you know, halftime we're Ladies down by four. Now here is the field of the 2022 I'm having a great time. Yeah, that was it. We lost, but yeah. but it was you know, still a fun game. Yeah, it was about the experience. It wasn't so much about the score. Right. The SEC games are just so much fun, and they're very entertaining. And during I, the uh, half times and the uh, uh, the intermissions and timeouts. Timeouts. <laughs> but fun day, nonetheless. Fun day. Had a great time. We're about 0.9 miles away from the stadium where we're camping, so we can either walk or take a bus. We'll see what we do. Yeah, it wasn't a total loss. They got a free hot dog. This concession stand was closing down. They had a bunch of them. They're like, grab a free hot dog. I'm like, sweet. Cool. So this is a pit stop on the way back to our RV parking. And they didn't sell beer at the stadium. So we're drinking a Coors Light because it's delicious. So in the larger RV field here in Woodfield, they also called the Hayfields, they have a bathroom. A little bit larger than where we're at. We're in the quieter zone. Yes. But still, it's uh, pretty a cool place to just park your RV. It doesn't cost anything. Nope, it's for free for two nights. You have to be out by four o'clock on Sunday after your game. Right, two o'clock Friday to four o'clock Sunday. So you can see that feels here of RVs. <laughs> Arkansas. All right, so we've completed our um, Auburn. Auburn game, mm -hmm. and yeah, there's a there was a honey wagon that I tried to flag down that came around, but he didn't want to stop. So yep, and so a quick pro tip for anybody who's camping in Alabama and boondocking: some of the rest areas here do have dump stations. Right, so this is a dump station rest at a rest area, which and it's free. Yeah, so good job, Alabama. Right. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we earned a subscription, click the subscribe. And comment below if you've been to Alabama and which you visited and liked the best. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching. And War Eagle. Definitely.